Soul food is the cultural identity marker that really surmises our journey as a people living in America. Trinesse Woods Black is the granddaughter of the legendary queen of soul food, Sylvia Woods. Originally from South Carolina, Sylvia moved to New York during the Great Migration to escape the atrocities of the Jim Crow South. If you were black, you know, Harlem was the place to be. Sylvia finding work at a diner, which she eventually purchased from the owner. Her restaurant becoming a prominent place in the community as the civil rights movement took hold in New York City. My grandmother, she played her role as ensuring that the community leaders had a place to, to meet and to commune and to strategize. Everyone dined at Sylvia's, Dizzy Gillespie, Ozzy Davis, Ruby Dee. You know, these are actors and actresses that were on the front line. Sylvia's strong commitment to social justice continues to this day. The restaurant welcoming congressmen, mayors, even presidents. One of the reasons why politicians flock to Sylvia's is because this is where the community is. We have guests that eat with us every single day. And it's this food that keeps locals and tourists alike coming back for decades. Trinessa's little brother, Marcus Woods, has been the executive chef for five years. Sylvia's grandson, it is so good to see you. Yeah. And you're back here, you're running the kitchen. What, what's that like for you? I mean, knowing that this legacy your grandmother's in. I'm honored. I'm honored. I still get to cook for people like you in the, the community of Harlem. You know, the amazing thing is food brings people together. You look in that dining room, everybody's there. Yes. So we used to always say that the first time you come to Sylvia's, you're a guest. The second time, you're family. According to Marcus, fried chicken the most beloved menu item. So, did your grandmother teach you how to do this? Yes, she taught me how to fry chicken, everything down to the seasoning. So I helped Marcus whip up the next batch. Now, is that just plain, plain flour? Yeah, this is plain flour. Uh -huh. We add a little coarse black pepper to it. Uh huh. After the chicken is coated, into the deep fryer. What's the best part of working here? That every day when I walk in, I get to feel like my grandmother's still with me. Uh -huh. Wow. I feel her, I, I can really feel her presence in this place. And it reminds you, every time you're feeling a little lazy, it's like, all right, she's watching. You better <laughs> pick, up your, pick up the pace. And oh yes, time for a taste. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, the seasoning, moist, crisp. Your grandmother's smiling right now. That's Sylvia's fried chicken right there. Marcus, this is fantastic. It's so great to see you. Yeah. If, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this piece to go. Oh, I'm going to pack up a whole bunch for you. <laughs> Thank you. That was cute. That was good. Uh, I good. know, I met Marcus when he was five years really? old. Really? Yeah. Oh. So now here he is running the kitchen. And so it's so great seeing him and Trinesse. And, Absolutely. Oh, you, you were in that restaurant. It's all family that's running that rest restaurant. And in the full family style episode, we're going to visit Dookie Chase's okay. in New Orleans, okay. which famously defied segregation laws wow. in Louisiana. And we're going to share the story behind one of the oldest black-owned restaurants in California. You probably know this one. Pie Queen? Lois the Pie Queen. I've never, uh, right. pie. I've never yeah, been there. Yeah, it's amazing. So, hmm. Family Style airs today at 10.30 a.m. Eastern on our streaming channel, Today All Day, on Peacock or your smart TV. That was really awesome. good. The only disappointment good. is we didn't get any fried chicken. I was going to say, you didn't bring any back. Could have gone with the margarita. <laughs> exactly. Let's go. We got to get up there.